Here are some examples about adding and subtracting polynomials. Problem 1. Simplify 9z minus 3z squared plus 5z minus 7z squared. Let's start by writing this out. 9z minus 3z squared plus 5z minus 7z squared. Now if we rearrange the terms, we have 9z plus 5z minus 3z squared minus 7z squared. Notice how we've grouped together the terms containing z on the left and the, con and the terms containing z squared on the right. We can now combine these terms using the distributive property. 9 plus 5 is 14, so 9z plus 5z is 14z, and then minus 7z squared minus 3z squared is going to be equal to minus 10z squared since 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. Problem 2. Simplify 8xy plus 2x minus y minus 7 plus x minus 3xy. First, let's write this out. 8xy plus 2x minus y minus 7 plus x minus 3xy. Now let's move the minus sign inside of the right term so we can turn this into a sum. We get 8xy plus 2x minus y plus minus 7 minus x plus 3xy. The two minus signs cancel in the last term. Next we need to combine like terms. On the left we have 8xy. On the right this matches 3xy. Next on the left we have 2x which matches with minus x on the right. And finally we have minus y on the left and minus 7 on the right which don't match with anything. Now let's combine these matching terms. 8 plus 3 is 11 so we get 11xy 2 minus 1 is 1, so we get plus x, then minus y, minus 7. And that's the final answer. Problem 3. Simplify a to the 4th minus 3a cubed plus 2 plus 3a to the 4th plus 3a cubed. Let's do this by aligning like terms vertically so we can add it more easily. If we write the first, the first polynomial, a to the fourth minus 3a cubed plus 2. Then if we write the second one below it, the 3a to the fourth will align with a to the fourth, and the 3a cubed will align with minus 3a cubed. And now we can write it like this. To add, we simply have to add the terms down each column. On the right hand side, we'll just have 2. This could be written as plus 0 to make things line up better. Now for the a cubed terms, the minus 3 and the plus 3 will cancel, giving us 0 a cubed. And finally, on the leftmost side, we'll have 1 a to the fourth plus 3 a to the fourth, which gives us 4 a to the fourth. Now the 0 is just 0, so we can write this as 4 a to the fourth plus 2. Problem 4. Simplify 6c minus cg squared plus h minus 4c plus 2h. Again, let's align these terms vertically. The first polynomial is 6c minus cg squared plus h. Now, the second polynomial has 4c, which aligns with 6c, and 2h, which goes with h. Now I'll add in a plus 0cg squared term so that all the terms have something matching. And now we want to subtract. On the right hand side we have h minus 2h which gives us minus h. In the middle we have minus cg squared minus 0cg squared. So that's just minus cg squared. And finally on the left we have 6c minus 4c which gives us 2c. So now we have our final answer, 2c minus cg squared minus h.